What's good, y'all? So today, man, we're gonna be doing the autofocus test with all of the L mount lenses I own for the S52, and I'm literally gonna do an indoor test, and I'm also do an outdoor autofocus test because I want y'all to see how I work in both environments. I know some people do weddings, so they gotta go in and out, and I've been getting a lot of requests for this video, so here it go. Let me make sure I had the right settings on too. Please don't mind the kid in the background. I already tried to kick him out my video, but nothing's working. All right, so right now y'all can see I got the Panasonic 50 millimeter on right now, and it's tracking me, literally. Y'all can see it's tracking my face right now. And I'm able to see this on my iPad because I got it on top of my camera. I'm gonna walk in, walk across the frame, let's see if it tracks me when I come back in. But yeah. See what I'm saying? And that shit works pretty good. So, I mean, that's pretty much expected. It's a native lens, so couldn't really fail the test. I would hope not. I'm gonna switch to the 20 to 60 kit lens and show y'all how that works. All right, so right now I'm talking to y'all on the 20 to 60 kit lens. We had 3.5 aperture, um, and y'all should be seeing everything. I'm not gonna lie, I look kind of overexposed, but we ain't gonna worry about that. So I'm walking around. Then again, a lot of cameras are not really that good at autofocus. I seen a lot of people saying that this is just as good as the Sony or better. I want y'all to let me know what y'all think. That's it. 20 millimeters. I zoom this all the way into 60. Do ISO setting, which is 4,000. Because if you don't know, the kit lenses, uh, when you zoom them in, they go for 3.5 to 5.6. That's what I personally like anyway. This is at 60 millimeters um, on the screen. It should be tracking me right now. I don't know if y'all see an outline on me. I don't see anything, but. So this is at 5.6 right now. And to be honest, you can't really lose focus at that aperture. So I'm gonna switch to my last lens, which is the 18 to 35 Sigma, which is an EF lens. And it's gonna make this crop into APS mode, but y'all still will see that autofocus works very well on that too. All right, so right now I got on the Sigma 18 to 35, which is an EF lens. And I'm gonna show y'all that the phase of text works really well on this as well. So I'm about to walk around. It, see it tracking me. Hey, get out my video. All right, so this is at 18 millimeters. Let's zoom this in. And keep in mind, this is at APS mode. All right, so now it's at 35 millimeters. And as you can see, it's still tracking very well. I'm walking up like I'm about to fight and it's still tracking. All right, so right now I got the 28 to 70 on and we're gonna do an autofocus test. So I'm gonna walk up close to the lens right now, show y'all how it does when the subject gets a little close. Step back. And right now y'all can see on the screen that it's outlining me, right? So I'm gonna actually just walk around and I'm gonna walk in different speeds at a different pace and just see if it's gonna keep focus. I'm gonna go up here and push myself more. Hopefully some bubbles come out. There we go. Right now it should be still tracking me. I can't tell from way over there, but I think that went pretty well. Let me know what y'all think. All right, so now I'm about to switch to the 16 to 28. Or right, actually, before we do that, I'm about to zoom all the way in to 70 millimeters and let's see how that goes. All right, so now I'm on 70 millimeters. On the 28 to 70 and it should be tracking me i'm not sure if i'm in focus it's looking pretty good so far though y'all let me know down below i can't see what the hell going on but i'm gonna walk up close let's see how close can we get with a 70 millimeter before it loses focus let's pull that out the way now i'm not gonna lie this was the one lens that i was having the most problems with as far as autofocus because i just think it gets very confused on the subject but i'm not gonna lie today the 70 millimeters is looking good all right so now y'all just seen the 28 to 70 now i'm about to switch to the 16 to 28 and let's see how that works with phase detect all right so now i got on the 16 to 28 and this is at the widest focal length which is 16 and let me know how y'all feel about this autofocus on it right now i'm just walking around and I'm not gonna lie, you shouldn't really lose focus with a focal length this wide. You pretty much can see everything. So I don't really see how you could really lose focus. But again, if you're shooting at f2.8, uh, it is pretty easy. I think right now I kind of had to crank it up because I didn't feel like finding my filter. 
for my matte box but this did really well too you know what i'm saying i think this did a great job and what i really like about it is you can literally just walk into the frame and it just automatically knows who you is you know what i'm saying so i really like that about the s5 too i really love the autofocus and it's great to just know i have that system that i could just depend on when it comes to finding focus i don't know i think this is great so this is a 16 to 28 at 28 millimeters right now and y'all can see it's still tracking me and y'all let me know if it's still tracking me or not i guess it's gonna do it for the outdoor part of this video so now we're gonna take everything inside and i'm gonna show y'all that it works in those conditions as well Hold on let me turn this fan on and make it a little more cinematic all right but anyway we got the 18 to 35 on right now and i'm literally just walk around my living room and if i'm not mistaken it's at 35 millimeters as we speak so y'all can really see that it still tracks me inside too this kid got me turning on cartoons in the middle of my youtube video what you want to watch trolls <laughs> I mean, yeah i don't know what y'all see over there i can't tell if it's track me it should be you know what i'm saying hopefully i'm not making panda sunday look bad right now but you know what i'm saying we do unbiased reviews over here so hopefully y'all phase the tech is working with the ef all right, so now I'm walking back. I'm about to throw this banana peel away that was just handed to me in the middle of my video. Now we're gonna zoom this out to 18 millimeters. So now we at 18 millimeters with the 18 to 35, and I'm gonna walk around the corner. This is a cheap magic trick. You know what I'm saying? Just popped out real quick. Step to the side, and it works pretty well. You know what I'm saying? So I guess that's gonna be it for this lens. Now I'm about to switch to the kit lens and show y'all how that works. Now I got the 50 millimeter F1.8 on and y'all can see it got me outlined right now. Why you bringing me your trash? Oh my God, this kid bought me a banana that he bit. Are you serious? Hey, go put this in the trash. But anyway, I'm gonna walk around, let y'all see how this look. So I'm gonna come out the frame and I'm gonna try to walk pretty fast so y'all can see that it really tracks me really well. You know what I'm saying? Shit doing pretty good, I'm not gonna lie walk out the frame right now it is moving pretty slow you know what i'm saying and I, as you can see it does get confused on the subject because it's thinking that my son is the main focus when it should be focusing on my hand i ain't gonna lie i love the way this lens look this is probably one of my favorite lenses i'm not gonna lie but y'all see how it's trying to track him when i step out the way now let me go over here i'm gonna show y'all something cool too so when you at an event it literally tracks multiple subjects and that could be a good and a bad thing because if you're trying to focus on just me sometimes i do realize it do get confused on who's the main subject and it'll follow that person like now like i'm walking up close so why is it not fo focusing on me unless i'm you know cutting him off some type of way it's literally getting confused but yeah man so that's how the 50 millimeter f18 looks and i'm gonna switch to the 28 to 70 and we're gonna test that out so right now i got the 28 to 70 on and this is at 28 millimeters clearly it's super wide right now so i'm just walking around hey miss baby give me some dap hey give me a dap knock it good job it even kept the dap in focus hopefully that was like a father and son bonding moment i can't miss out on that but i think that did pretty good let me actually get close let me show you how this works on like a semi macro shot you know what i'm saying step out the way i'm already right, run baby run baby i'ma get you come here hey let's see if we catch a high speed chase come on come on let's go hey word of advice don't decide to have kids at the age of 27 because i'm already getting tired of running around with it hey don't get on my video all right so that's at 28 millimeters now we're going to zoom this in to 70 hey all right, so right now it's at seven millimeters. I'm trying to see if it's gonna focus on my son while he's doing his dance moves. Come on. Come on. I'm gonna sit very business friendly. Is there anything you wanna say to the vlog? All right, so that's at 70 millimeters. This lens does really well. Like I said, at 70 millimeters, you get kind of iffy, but it works. At 70 millimeters, the autofocus works really well, as y'all can see. And last but not least, we got the 16 to 28. So now I got on the kit lens, the 20 to 60, and y'all can see that it's literally tracking me live right now. You know what I'm saying? I'm gonna come up close. And like I said, I just want to show y'all that it works indoor and outdoor, because a lot of these tests are just a person outside. But a lot of people like me, I shoot a lot of shit indoor. I need to see how this works. You know what I'm saying? So I'm gonna walk over here by my son because 
I want to see if it's going to still be smart enough to track me. You want to say something to the camera? That's a lot. 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 That's a for some reason, he's obsessed with the word dog. But anyway, that's how it looks at 20 millimeters. We're going to zoom this all the way in. 60. Um, this framing is kind of killing me. So let me get this right. All right. So now it's at 60 millimeters. And I want y'all to let me know if it's tracking me. I'm not going to even look. I'm going to do some shit cinematic real quick. You want to say something to the camera? Dog. Dog. <laughs> but anyway, that's the word of the day. Dog. Clearly, he's not going to stop using that one. He's just now trying to start tracking. That's crazy. It's not really doing a great job at with the kit lens. All right, so now we got the 16 to 28 on. And I'm literally just pace around so y'all can see how this looks. I re I'm not gonna lie, I really love how ultra wide this perspective is. You can literally see everything in this house, damn near. And um, this is pretty wild, but autofocus is amazing with this lens. This is at f2.8, clearly. I don't gotta tell y'all the specs. Y'all can see the shit on the screen. I'm just not used to doing this, but um, my next video is gonna be my actual camera settings. So y'all gonna be able to see my actual interface on my camera and show y'all how I shoot. And I'm probably gonna do like a real music video and record my settings as I do it or whatever. But anyway, that's gonna be it for today's video. I appreciate y'all for tuning in. Let me know what y'all think about the autofocus on this camera down below, because a lot of folks was hit me up for the past two weeks about doing an autofocus test and this shit took a lot of time it was a lot of people in the background i was getting hella distracted and i don't know who else be having that issue with you know trying to create youtube videos and they get very distracted by the slightest bit of noise i'm one of those people i'm an introvert i really don't like to be around people i'm a loner so when it comes to doing youtube videos this shit is very hard for me i'm not gonna lie so i really appreciate everybody that take the time to watch these videos and comment and you know basically engage because this shit takes a lot from me and to be honest i don't get paid from youtube right now so this is literally like my form of doing passion projects i pretty much just do this for fun and it just feels good that you know people are actually starting to notice my work and starting to appreciate it and i also really inspire people but anyway i know i kind of drifted off but i feel like i always get on here and just start talking all this camera shit but besides the camera shit i'm a dope person and i think y'all need to see that as well but anyway it's your boy prime atl let me know what y'all think about this video and i'll see y'all next time